Africanism is a political and cultural phenomenon that has its source uh, deep in the history of African people in this part of the world. Pan-Africanism is a form of resistance to the racist oppression that was visited upon African people in the New World. We've had a common history and a common experience and we have a common struggle. And a lot of that struggle has to do with the fight against racism and the fight against imperialism and that it's been an, it's been an international uh, oppression. And so Pan-Africanism says that we can learn from each other, we, we should work in solidarity with each other in the African world. If imperialism and colonialism were built on Africa's backs, then we also know that it is us who has the task of burying it. Unfortunately, the structures of the states we have do not permit this. In fact, if you look at our history over the past 50 years very closely, you would notice that with independence, we build more barriers between ourselves. African leaders have, have um, for a long time thought that um, this would erode their sovereignty. Sovereignty about what? Sovereignty for artificial creations of colonial powers is a sovereignty that Gambia enjoys equal to the sovereignty of the United States. It is foolhardy to say so. What America can do, Gambia cannot do. Either in Gambia or on the international platform. So sovereignty, again, is not a holy cow. Back in 1963, one of the main issues was that the, the newly independent African countries and presidents thought that ah, Nkrumah was putting the cart before the horse, they say, because we weren't ready then. The big African countries were under heavy influence from the United States and they insisted that Africa was not ripe for unity and that Africa should democratize, should develop first before uniting, which was the position of the United States as a way of rejecting uh, African unity. But uh, Gaddafi insisted that even with a few countries, Africa can start a United States of Africa and then those who want to join can join later one by one. Uh, and Gaddafi won, his argument won, but with a compromise that instead of a United States of Africa, there will be a union uh, of African states in the uh, form of the African Union, which was a concept copied from the European Union. But the, the change that was made then was that to some extent, Pan-Africanism became a Pan-Africanism of, of governments, perhaps more than a Pan-Africanism of, of people. 